Sunday, June 24th, 2007. Pamela Geller posts a copy of an email she was sent from a supporter in Oslo, Norway onto her website Atlas Shrugs 2000. The email contained extremely paranoid and incoherent statements such as orders from Libya and Iran say that Oslo will be known as Medina at the latest in 2010. I believe we are the very last generation on earth before the return of God. We are entering a new golden age for my people and those of a handful of other countries but only through struggle. Never fear Pamela. God is with you too in this coming time. Most worryingly, the email contained the following line. We are stockpiling and caching weapons, ammunition and equipment. This is going to happen fast. On the same day, in the comment section, underneath this blog post, a user known as Turn wrote, An Old Testament bloodbath is coming. He or she could be prosecuted under hate speech laws for writing or posting in Norway what you have passed on to us. In response to this comment, Pamela Geller wrote, Yes, Turn which is why I ran it anonymously. This means that Pamela Geller knows who sent her this email, but she has chose not to name them. July 22nd, 2011. Anders Breivik, a Norwegian right-wing extremist, carried out dual terrorist attacks in Norway, first bombing government buildings in Oslo that caused eight deaths and a mass shooting at a camp of the Workers' Youth League of the Labour Party on the island of Utøya, where he killed 69 people. July 23rd, 2011. A 1,500-page manifesto written by Breivik is released online along with copies of posts he'd made on public forums and social networking sites. Many prominent public figures are frequently mentioned by Brevik within his writings. One of these is Pamela Geller and her website. July 29th, 2011. Pamela Geller deliberately edits the 2007 email she posted on her website at the Shrugs 2000. She removes the line, We are stockpiling and caching weapons, ammunition and equipment. This is going to happen fast. Thankfully, this did not go unnoticed and within a few hours, many blogs and multiple websites have posted articles exposing Geller. July 30th, 2011. Geller writes a blog on Atlas Shrug 2000 stating that she had removed the line from the post because after the massacre in Norway last week, I removed the following sentence from the email as I found it insensitive and inappropriate. She also states that the idea that I was scrubbing my archives or evidence as many liars are suggesting is a blatant lie. And the email was not written by Breivik, and contrary to popular leftist belief, not every Norwegian is Anders Breivik. She then accuses her critics, ironically, of using Orwellian propaganda, and then she copy and pasted the original unedited version of the email. Now, all of this may well be true. However, if she was really concerned about people's feelings, why just delete that one line and then run the risk of being accused of trying to cover this up? Why not instead delete the whole post and then immediately post a new blog stating that you have removed the 2007 email out of respect for the victim's families. This would not stop the rumour mill from running, but it would at least show some intellectual honesty on her part. Regardless of her reasoning and excuses, Pamela Geller has nobody else to blame but herself for this situation. She has a history of promoting extreme hateful views and being a shamelessly dishonest, bigoted fearmonger. But there are two possibilities presented here, and both of them lead us to conclusions that aren't good for Geller and her public image such as it is. Number one, she is lying, and this email was was indeed sent by Anders Breivik, which means that Geller has withheld the identity of a now mass murderer for the last four years and is now trying to cover her tracks. Or, she is telling the truth. This email is not from Anders Breivik, so she is instead currently holding the potential identity of another individual who is, by his own admission, stockpiling weapons and explosives for what he believes is the soon-to-be-coming Armageddon. It's possible that Geller has done no wrong here. However, her suspicious behaviour and failed attempts to rewrite the past have led me personally to one conclusion. Pamela Geller needs to be investigated now. If you support this idea, then please rate and favourite this video and share it with all your friends. I will even leave a link below so you can download a copy if you wish to mirror it. Thank you for listening. Take care.